Hey, have you um, heard about this little indie title called Battlefield 2042? Well, it is in beta or early release. So you have the privilege of paying to beta test this game. That's right. Even if you have bought the full game at a full price, you still have to pay £80 for a fuller edition instead of 50 Or of course, you can subscribe to the EA Play Pro membership, which is more expensive than the standard EA Play membership. And by the way, I've heard some rumors next year that they will come out with the EA Play Pro Max membership that will offer you even more benefits and even earlier access for an even steeper price. It will also come in pink. But seriously, I'm thinking, why is no one talking about this? Well, content creators are largely ignoring this BS, either because they're sponsored by EA or it's just not a big deal for them to buy the game because at the end of the day, it's their business. So they'll pay 80 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever it costs. So they will not complain about this. But I actually bought the EA Play Pro membership. So technically it doesn't affect me, but it does suck to be peer pressured into buying this out of some bullshit FOMO or fear of missing out that EA has manufactured to take your money. In reality, of course, this is just an attempt to get more money. They've basically put a paywall to play the game early for those of you who've already bought the game at a full price. It's it's just insane to me. In my opinion, of course, it's complete bull****. <coughs> but I guess welcome to 2021 where you have to pay extra to play the games that you've already bought just to play them uh, a week early. EA, can we stop this? Is it too much to ask that everyone who has bought the game just play it at the same time? What's going to happen next year? A full tiered release depending on how much you paid? And please, if you're going to message me about some bullshittery and trying to defend EA over this and mentioning the trial because let me get this right you get to play 10 hours of the game that is included that is supposed to be included in the membership but you get to play 10 hours how kind of them you get to play 10 hours I mean come on well here's an idea if they're giving you 10 hours why not just give you an unlimited amount to play because that's included in the membership or supposed to be included in the membership but I know it's EA so it is a completely crazy idea to even suggest this and this segmenting of the player base is not even good for the actual game or the marketing so I really don't get it EA I really really don't get it so in my eyes EA done fucked <coughs> up so really, no more EABS. People really should be talking more about this. Otherwise, this will just keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And next year, as I said, who knows, we'll have maybe a full tiered release, depending on how much you paid. It's a ridiculous money grab, and that's all it is. And as I said already, it doesn't really affect me because I have the EA Play Pro membership. I can play the game early, but I know there's many people out there who can't exactly afford to pay the price on top. I mean, it should be free. This, this shouldn't, I shouldn't be even making this video come on guys come on EA you know to me this is complete this should not be happening completely that's why I'm making this video to raise some awareness about the issue and so that's it rant over uh, do let me know what you guys think about this I'm curious to hear what the community thinks about this the battlefield community and the FPS community thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one or rather you will see me because that's how cameras work and yeah anyway I'll see you guys